Hi Lions, it's so good to see you again. Today we are going to learn some new sight words or heart words as we call them. And we'll review words that we've learned previously and then we'll practice spelling and then reading a story with all the sounds and sight words in them that we have learned so far. Okay, let's get started. The first word I want to introduce you to, to is a go. Long, um, I know Star Wars, they always start off with the beginning, something about like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ago. So let's read it together. Ago. Let's spell it. A-G-O. Ago. Good job. Okay, the next word I want to introduce you to is should. You should read at least five days a week while you're home. It's not only fun, but it'll help keep you in practice. Should. Let's spell it together. S-H-O-U-L-D. Should. Okay, another word, and I like this word a lot, and I know Mrs. Cox likes it too. Kind. Be kind to yourself and others. Let's read it together. Kind. Spell K-I-N-D. Kind. And if you can read and spell kind, then you can read and spell this word, mind. This is one of the reasons why we practice rhyming, because a lot of words that rhyme are actually spelled the same way at the end. So if you can read kind, you can read mind. Let's read it together. Mind. Spell M-I-N-D. Mind. Your mind is an amazing thing. Okay, let's review some of the words, heart words we've learned previously. Remember, the reason why we practice reading, spelling, reading um, is that repetition, that practice every day helps. It's almost like it cements it in your brain and it helps you remember it. And then you'll be able to remember, um, recall it when you're reading the word and when you're trying to spell it. And these words are words that are used very frequently. Um, so you're going to see them a lot in stories, and you're probably going to want to be able to know how to spell them so when you're writing as well. Okay, this word, let's read it. Nothing. Spell N-O-T-H-I-N-G. Nothing. And we're going to read, spell all of these words. So I need to hear you. Answer. Spell A-N-S-W-E-R. Read answer. Good job. When you see my finger sweep, that's your cue to read. Okay, let's read it. School. Spell S-C-H-O-O-L. School. First way, read. Spell R-E-A-D. Read. I love to read. Now, another way you can read this, depending on the sentence it's in, this is also how you spell read. I read a great book. Let's read that. Read. Spell R-E-A-D. Read. Good job. And the way you know if it's read or read is depending on the sentence it's in. Ben. B-E-E-N. Ben. Good job. Four. This is the number four. F-O-U-R. Four. Because. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Because. Whoops. Won't. Remember, this is a contraction. Contractions are a smaller way of some, saying, a smaller way of saying something. So won't is a smaller way of saying will not. I won't do it. I will not do it. Read it. Won't. Spell. W-O-N apostrophe T. Won't. Don't. D-O-N apostrophe T. Don't. Remember, this is a shorter way of saying do not. So this also is a contraction. 
once, once upon a time, O-N-C-E, once. Both, B-O-T-H, both. New, N-E-W, new. This is new talking about um, the condition of something um, or the first time you've had it. It's new, it's not old, the opposite of old. And if you can read and spell new, you can read and spell few, F-E-W, few. Most, M-O-S-T, most. Every, E-V-E-R-Y, every. One, O-N-E, one. This is talking about the number one. Does, D-O-E-S, does. Your, Y-O-U-R, your. Under, U-N-D-E-R, under. Over, O-V-E-R, over. Again, A-G-A-I-N, again. Gone, G-O-N-E, gone. Let me hear you read, spell read with me. Mother, M-O-T-H-E-R, mother. There, T-H-E-I-R, there. This there, remember, is talking about ownership, belonging to someone. Their dog, its name is Rex, so the dog belongs to them. So their, this is talking about ownership, was, W-A-S, was. Good job, Lions. Okay, now we're going to move on to spelling. So if you don't have paper and pencil, go ahead and pause the, um, the recording while you get your supplies, and everyone else will get started. Okay, the first word we're going to spell is clam. I love any seafood. So clam, a clam is something I enjoy too. Clam, clam, clam. So I hear cl, which is a blend, cl, cl, like cloud, cliff, Clifford, and then clam. I hear the small word am. So rather than figuring out each individual sound, I know how to spell am. So cl am, clam. Okay, the next word we're going to spell is clay. I know Mrs. Ottinger loves using clay with you guys. She loves to do pottery. So does Mrs. Um, Cork's, Mr. Cork. Clay, clay, clay. Okay, so I hear the cool blend again, just like the beginning of clam. Clay, <clears throat> I hear a long A sound. Well, we know when you hear A at the end of a word that it's going to be spelled with the A-Y, usually. So we're gonna spell A with the A-Y, clay. So it begins like clam, and then it ends in the A sound. Okay, the next word we're going to spell is fair. F air, fair. So f, like the flying fish. F a, I hear a long A sound. Now I know the fair I'm talking about um, is, a pillar of character, fairness, treating someone fairly, um, or a fair, like the great Frederick Fair that you might visit. So we know fair, we've spelled that before, like the um, a payment you would make if you were in a taxi or an Uber, that's spelled with the silent E syllable. This fair, talking about something being, um, fairness 
like playing a game in a fair way is spelled with the AI. So f A with the AI spelling, fair. I hear er at the end. F air, fair. The next word we're going to spell is sir. S er. Sir, would you please pass the salt? S so I hear the S. Er. Well, we know there are three different ways to spell the sound er. And the word sir, it's the IR. Sir. So your word should look like this. Sir. Okay, the next word we're going to spell is stayed. We stayed home. So it already happened. Now here's a trick, guys. When you're trying to spell a word that has a suffix, an ending to it, first spell the base word. Get rid of the suffix. So we're going to get rid of the ed to start with, and we're going to first spell stay. I want to st a home. Stay. St. Kind of like that's a blend at the beginning of like stop, stir, star. So st a. I hear the long a sound again. Stay. And I'm hearing it at the end of the word. So we know when we want to spell a at the end of the word, it's usually spelled with the a y. So we're going to try that. Stay. Okay, when I try it, it does look right. Stay. Now, the word I we want to spell is stayed. I stayed home. It already happened. And we know that we spelled the past tense suffix with ed. So we just have to put that on the end. Stayed. So do you see how it's helpful when you're spelling a word that either has ing or the past tense suffix? First, just spell the base word and then add the suffix. Okay, the last two words we're, we are going to spell happen to be sight words or heart words. And the first one is there. Their kite was red. So we're talking about ownership. So we know we spell it this way. They're talking about location is spelled a different way. So as we spell this word, we're going to say the letters out loud. That way we see it, hear it, and we feel it while we're writing it. The more senses, your senses are your sense of sight, hearing, taste, smell, and sense of touch. The more senses you use when you're learning something, the better your brain is going to remember it. Okay, so let's spell their, um, their kite. So talking about ownership. It belongs to them. T-H-E-I-R. There. And so the T and H go to the top line. The rest of the letters go to the midline. And the I, don't forget you dot it, halfway between the top and the midline. There. The lines um, are here to help us line up our letters. Okay, the last word we will spell is was, was. She was working hard. Okay, let's spell it. W, remember say the letters as you write it. A, S, was. She was working hard. Sorry, that was my phone. Mr. Clifford's fishing and he's sending me pictures of his fish. <laughs> was. Okay, and we're going to stop there, guys. We will read our story in our next lesson because we're, um, we're running out of time and that's because we've learned so much. I just want to review with you <clears throat> the four heart words that we learned today. The first one was ago. A long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. And then the next word we learned was should. You should be reading every day. 
One, because it's so much fun, and two, because it's going to help you um, continue to grow as a reader. And then one of my favorite words we learned, kind, be kind to yourself and others. And if you can read kind, you can also read mind, mind. All right, Lions, thank you for joining me. You did a great job today. And we will, don't worry, in our next lesson, we will read our story and we'll see what happened. I know we left off um, where the firefighters had gone to fight a fire. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.